things that will help you gain control of your life. What is up guys? Episode 2. Today is Sunday, April 5th. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, equipment needed, uh, the minimum equipment needed to gain size from home, and then also I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, cost regarding those items, and then of course every single video I'm going to talk to you guys about my results and where I want to go. So equipment needed, uh, it's very simple. Uh, the, when I first started lifting, uh, there's only three things that you need to really gain size from home, which is, uh, number one, you're gonna need some dumbbells. Uh, you can do either uh, individual dumbbells or you can do adjustable dumbbells. Uh, those would be my two recommendations. Obviously the adjustable dumbbells is a, a bit cheaper than obviously going out and buying individual dumbbells. Um, but those, for those of you that do only have a few dumbbells, you can still make uh, just a few dumbbells work instead of just going out and got it, buying the adjustable dumbbells. Uh, things to do to help make those uh, few weights that you maybe have work is number one, you can slow down your temp tempo You know when you're doing your lifts. Three seconds down, three seconds up, or try five seconds down, uh, three seconds up. Uh, slow down your tempo. That always helps add a little bit more of a challenge uh, to get through your reps. You want to get to failure, obviously, when you're lifting. Uh, so by slowing down your rep count, that will obviously help make things a lot more difficult. Also, something else you could try to make the weight you got work. Um, you could also pause at the bottom of your reps uh, for about three seconds or so, or until you can't hold it anymore, and then pound it up on your last few reps. Uh, that's something else you could try to really get to failure. Uh, to make those lighter weights work that you might uh, have. And then also something else you could do is TUT, time under tension. Uh, when you're doing your lifts, uh, something else you can do is when you go up in any move, uh, don't lock your elbows, that's, a, that's like a tiny mini break, you know? Keep your elbows bent, you know? And then keep that pressure on your muscles. Or another example, when you're doing uh, bent over um, uh, flies, going like this, don't like hang your arms down at the bottom and then go up because right here is a tiny little mini break. If you stop right here, you're keeping that tension on your, uh, your shoulders and then you're going up. So you're going like this instead of hanging down all the way and then going up. So that's one other example that you could do. So instead of doing this right here, you could stop right here, keep the tension on the muscle that you're working and then go up you know, and try to incorporate that in all of your workouts if you do have those lighter weights. And honestly, even if you do have those really heavy weights or weights that you want, um, I still recommend doing that. That's something that I personally do in all my workouts. Uh, so you can make just about anything work uh, with dumbbells uh, working out at home. My recommendation for a good set to have uh, starting out, which is what I started out with, all I had was, um, I think it was 10 pounds, two 10 pound dumbbells, um, 25 pound dumbbells, and then 45 pound dumbbells. Um, and then anything in between, I just kind of got as years went on and I just kept adding to it. And then eventually I had so many mixed dumbbells, like I had some uh, metal dumbbells and then I had some, none of them matched. Eventually down the road, I then decided to splurge and get a whole set, matching set from 5 to 50 first, and then I bought a, f a set from 55 to 75. So when a lot of you guys look at like the equipment that I have or that you see in a lot of my videos, that, that did not happen right away. I put my dumbbells on the floor. I didn't have a fancy rack. You don't need any of that stuff. Don't use like... Uh, that is a reason is to not work out at home and like to like work out in general Like maybe you don't like to go uh, Work out at the gym and you only got a few dumbbells and you're like well I'm not gonna work out really or do muscle lifting or building muscle at home because I don't really have the equipment You can damn near make anything work So uh, don't use that as a reason not to work out and just think about cost too You know, I'm gonna jump into that next but you can make anything work and I'll talk to you a little bit about things that I did to make costs and just how to come up with money for this equipment uh, in my next topic here. But the next thing you need, uh, the, a bench, 
You need a bench or at least an exercise ball. A bench is obviously going to be better than an exercise ball, but obviously an exercise ball is super duper cheap. Uh, you can get one for like probably 30 bucks, 30, 50 bucks, and then you can use that as a bench. Uh, obviously a bench would be preferred and you can, I would recommend getting a adjustable bench, um, something that uh, you can adjust obviously uh, the back and the front where you sit. I would recommend making sure both of those are adjustable. Uh, that would be pretty much the only thing that you really need to make sure that you have on your bench. Uh, because if you don't have an adjustable seat to where it goes up and down, when you're doing an incline bench press or something like that, your butt's going to kind of slide out from underneath you. And that gets to be really annoying. And it also helps you from arcing your back uh, to try to stay uh, positioned correctly on the bench. So it's going to help you with form and it's going to help you lift more weight. Obviously, if you're lifting like uh, 150 plus pounds, uh, and if you have a flat uh, seating area or a flat bench or a, that seat is flat, your butt's going to keep wanting to slide out from underneath you. So uh, that would be my only recommendation is things to look for. Um, honestly, as far as cost goes, you know, you can spend as little as probably like 50 bucks to uh, over a thousand probably on a bench. So it all comes down to like what you have for spending. So and then a recommendation too, you can go on Craigslist. You can find very cheap used stuff you can go on just google it man like you can find so much stuff out there in so many different brands as long don't get too picky either you know if you're just starting out uh go into it knowing like hey this is temporary and this goes for weights too this is temporary i'm just gonna get this for right now and i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get it so i can get started like now don't wait until you have like a huge bundle of money to go to exact to buy exactly what you want just get started, you know? You don't need a lot, you don't need anything fancy. I didn't have anything fancy. I just started and then I worked my way up from there. Uh, the third thing that I would recommend is either a pull-up bar or pull-up or bands uh, to do pull-ups. Um, if you don't have a pull-up bar, then you can just simply uh, use bands and hook it on your door and just at least be able to work those muscles, you know, and pull down and to get your lats and things like that. So. Those three things are the minimum things that you need to work out at home to gain size, size like this. Uh, honestly, uh, that's all I had when I started out and I got amazing freaking results. Of course, you need a damn good program, which you guys can just fill an online questionnaire and we can talk about that separately. Uh, but there is obviously an amazing program that I follow to where I ha only need these three things. And honestly, you only need these three things to work out at home and build muscle. But obviously looking at it, it's really hard without a program to just look at it and be like, okay, what am I gonna do right now? You know, like you're gonna spend too much time thinking about what to do next. So it is important to have somewhat of a, a, a system to follow. So make sure you have a program to follow. Um, the next thing is cost, you know? Uh, just like I had mentioned before, uh, you can spend as, from as little as you want to as much as you want. It just depends where uh, you're at financially. Here's a few things that you can do uh, to come up with money and things to keep in mind if you're using money as an excuse because we all know we can come up with money for the things we want. You know it's true. And here's some things to keep in mind. Um, think about it this way. Uh, most of us have a good enough credit to like take out a small credit card and a lot of people are so against that, which I totally understand, but you can go out and you can literally buy these three things for probably 500 bucks at the very most. That's like high end. You could probably go as low as uh, 200 bucks to get everything you need on the lower end side, okay? And you could make literally minimum payments probably at like 10 or $15 a month. And while a lot of people might frown at making those minimum payments, hey, if that's all you can afford to make 10, $15 a month payment on that, who gives a shit? Because guess what? If you went to the gym, what would you be paying a month, right? 10, $15 a month. So why not just who gives a shit about it? Even if you're paying interest, who cares? Uh, it's better, it's at least going towards something that you own versus paying a membership at the gym. So if you're paying a membership at the gym, think of it that way. You could easily quit your gym membership, go out, apply for any freaking credit card who gives a shit about the uh, interest rate because honestly, even if you pay the bare minimum and pay that fucker for 20 years, you know, at least it's going towards something that you actually own versus having a gym membership where you're getting nothing, right? Uh, so don't let like applying for credit be like frowned upon. Like even if you're paying off debt, you know, like me and my wife, we're working on paying off debt and stuff, but this is an investment in yourself. And you could look at this as like a side thing. And if you had a gym membership, just 
it's an even, it's a break even thing. You know, you go out, get a credit card, you just get what you need, you get started, get the program you need maybe, and then get the equipment that you need, just get set up. You know, designate a small little square in your house. You only need a 10 by 10 foot square, not even maybe, and just get started, you know? Uh, so don't frown on getting a credit card or some shit to like, just get started. And on a, an amount of like $500 or something like that, I bet you'd only pay like 15, 20 bucks a month, you know? And that's a, equivalent to a gym membership. So money is not, a, you can't use money as an excuse because we can all find the money and that's just one way. I'm gonna share with you one more thing. Uh, if you guys have a car payment loan out there uh, with any bank, I bet you can skip one payment. They always, most banks will allow you to skip a payment. So if you are really wanting to work out, uh, call your bank. Call your bank and say, hey, do you mind if I skip next month's payments? Shit, some banks will let you skip two or three. I don't know. Uh, so I've done it with my truck loan, you know, and that's a hefty payment, you know, so that's an extra 500 plus bucks a month, you know, that you could put towards something or three to 500 or whatever it is that you pay a month for your vehicle. But I guarantee you most vehicles, whatever it is that you're paying, that's probably more than enough to where you could go out and buy equipment, you know? So there's ways, man. And then also something else to keep in mind, if you're worried about just spending money in general, think about things that you spend money on. Hotel, one night stay over in a nice hotel, boom, you just paid for equipment, you know? You got the money. But, or some people say they don't have the money, but then they went and spent uh, $500 on a short vacation, something that's over and done, you know? Or you can have something that you're gonna have for the rest of your freaking life. Equipment never goes bad, it's weights, you know? Like you'll have it forever. Uh, another thing, home improvement. How much money do you spend on home improvement stuff? You know, like, you just gotta think about what do you spend money on and then think about like, hey, you know, this is investing money in myself, so I'm not gonna feel guilty about it. And you shouldn't. You know, that's ridiculous. You know, like you only get one body, you know, like take care of it. You know, don't wait until the last minute to where you're like getting a scare from your doctor to like, maybe I should invest in myself. Don't wait until it comes to that. Um, those are just a few of things to keep in mind and things you can do uh, to help with cost. So I hope that opens your eyes a little bit and things you can do to get started. And this can even mean supplements too. You know, like if a lot of people say, you know, hey man, I wanna get crazy ass results. Um, but I just don't have the money to get supplements, you know, but honestly, do you need supplements, of course, to work out? No. Or to get results? No. You don't need supplements. But my, the people that I work with, the people uh, that I typically uh, encourage to do, um, I always say, hey, you know, why have, why do average, you know, like when you can have more, like it just depends on the person. If, if you don't really care about like getting crazy shredded or getting big gains like me, then, you know, best advice to you is just stay active, go take a walk outside, be active, do something, go out for a bike ride. You don't need to get crazy, but that's more my thing. That's the people I help, is the people that wanna get insane, crazy ass results. You know, like life changing results. Those are the type of people I work with. So when you hear me talk about like supplements and equipment and all this stuff, that's because that, those are the kind of people I help, people that want insane results. So everything that I talk to you guys about mostly is for those types of people. Again, you don't need crazy equipment. You don't need any of this equipment that I even just mentioned uh, to get results at home. You can still do body weight exercises, you know? Um, you don't even need to do body weight exercises. Just stay active, eat clean, boom. You know, you can change your life by just doing that. But again, the people I work with, are typically people that want to get crazy results like I do. I'm kind of crazy like that. I like above average results. So to do that, you're going to need some shit. You're going to need some equipment. You're going to need supplements. You're going to need uh, a workout plan. You're going to need all that stuff. Those are the type of people I work with. So uh, again, you can come up with money for things that you want. You just have to find a way. You have to be open-minded and you just got to think about everything that I just mentioned. So that's all I got to say about equipment and just uh, ways you can come up with money for equipment and supplements and just everything you need to get results, life-changing results. Uh, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about, which I'm gonna to talk to you about in every single video, is my current results. So let's talk about my results. Last week, I was at 13.1% body fat. Uh, my goal is to get in the single digits uh, by summer, which I totally think that I can do. And once I get to the single digits, I'm gonna switch gears just a little bit and I'm gonna be going for some size. This week was an awesome week for me. 
I stayed on track. Yesterday was my birthday. Typically, I would have had a three-day binger because my birthday was yesterday, which is on a Saturday. And, you know, when it's your birthday weekend, it's like, ah, fuck it. You know, it's my birthday weekend. I'm just going to enjoy the weekend. But I did not because, you know what? I just miss how I feel so much. I want that back. This is where I used to be. This is my goal. I want to get close to this. I want this because I, it's not just the results that I miss. I miss how I freaking felt, man. I felt like a, a freaking superhero. That's the best way I can put it. Uh, but these are the results I'm going for. These are the results you guys can get to. You can jump on board with me at any time. All you gotta do is fill up my online questionnaire and uh, we can get you rocking by like freaking tomorrow, Monday, start the week out right. Uh, but I'm gonna be doing these videos every single week. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.